And we're back to France. Alright. So now we want to go to... Think no Gate. To install the last dealio. Of course, you want to make sure that you did the, uh... You know, the pervert job. Because after this, you can't do it no more. Be sure. Bonk. Put it. Piece of cake. Piece of his egg. Tell you what. You, you can like hear it all the way down here. Crazy. Pretty big hard stuff in the meantime. Fire. like enjoying the path and you gotta ruin it. Come on. Get that way. Come on. Freaking villain. You're a villain, sir. Boom. Stab the toidle. Have him survive with 4 HP for some stupid reason. Oh boy. Oh, are we done already? So done. Also get up as Good times. First floor jumps. Probably be a good idea to put Olivier back on since we've still got that quest to do with him. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. Do you have some business with me? <laughs> I see. Need the power of my genius? Not to worry. I understand entirely. Your aid, please. Your aid style. Excuse me, I said it backwards. Cause I'm a, a freaking rabble. That's what I am. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's where the other monster extermination is as well. Long before we need to put the, th the last dealio. Oh, fine! Why do you always have to be this way, man? Come <laughs> off it, Boris! Shoot him! He's trying to offer us alcohol again! 
crap, bio stock. To the face. Ow. That freaking zero damage. Destroying us all. One by one. Oh, are we done already? Prickly seeds, red flies, beast flesh. Okay, wait, Fortress, not sync time, okay? What the hell am I talking about? What the hell am I talking about, man? What the hell? Oh, wait, there's no mock first formation here. What, what, what am I talking about? No. I already did that. Over here, ha handing out one shots like it doesn't even matter. Two one shots at once. Oh, cheetah! Oh, this gun failed us. He's playing dead. He's doing the play dead emote. Oh, are we done already? Bug. Dirty carrots. Oh, there is one here. Okay, never mind. I, I, I thought we were missing one out, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Let me see. Bloody Saber. 5825 HP. We can water and wind. A wild war monster that wanders in search of blood. Covers by training prey. It's always exciting. <laughs> Someone's been naughty. Got a lot. Good chunk. HP away. <laughs> Take the art! Quick draw too, you gotta love it. You really do, by law. Rock you like a hurricane! Of course it missed the big boy. I mean, of course it did. I wouldn't have. Smoking and oh, I can't hit, hit, hit the dude back there be, because the reasons. Of course, you can't blind the big boy. You can't do it. Oh, he just drained my HP. What is with all these enemies draining HP all of a sudden? Very inappropriate behavior. I'll, I'll be honest. Do 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 true her uh 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 can I get all three of them. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Huh. Now you're all alone, sir. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, Olivier, that freaking thing is not working at all. Oh yeah. I've already missed twice with it. I don't know how much more of that I'm gonna put up with, sir. I'll tell you what. Huh. Goodbye, sir. He's gonna buff the other enemies even though there are none, so. Oh, are we done already? Need to level 46. Good times. Other tail, prickly seed, earthworm. And it monster! Peter Brock 2100 eggs, he's like a cool dude! 
because Tita is in fact a cool dude. No doubt about that. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, here it goes. Laced in Fortress. I know we were just here to help with the training, but it still makes me feel kind of nostalgic. Heh. <laughs> I kind of thought that, too. You weren't here. It was night when we were here last, so it feels different, though. Happier, maybe. Happy, happy, happy! Everybody's happy! That's right. You, you actually broke into Laced to rescue the professor, didn't you? Sailing the unassailable fortress. You don't do things by half measures, Estelle. Certainly not. Why, really now? You planned something that fun and you didn't contact me at all. Such fickle friends. Why wouldn't you extend an invitation to something so thrilling? Why exactly would we call you of all? Anyway, let's get the measuring thing he set up. Sounds like a plan. I think it would be wise to get permission from the gate guard before placing anything in front of the board. Or they'll, or they'll probably just come and take it down and ruin everything. Pilico should have called ahead of us, so I doubt this will take long. Alright then. I'll click a close hand. This is laced in Fortress, the headquarters of the Royal Army. I uh, no! I'm sorry, but civilians are not permitted entry at this time. I'll have to ask you to leave the premises at once. Well, I could stay in here all day. Sir, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Um, but we're... F but we're from the Bracer Guild. Oh, right, you folks. The band already passed down word. You need to place some form of measuring device near the gate, right? Hilka is quick and thorough as usual. Uh, uh, unusual. So, do you mind if we go ahead and place the device? You have permission, so go right ahead. Wherever you want. Well, anywhere except the road itself, if you don't want. Let's just jam it into his head. We would prefer to keep that open for vehicle traffic. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's find a good place. Okay. Let's find a good, good place. Please avoid placing your device on the road. It would be problematic for traffic. You may place it anywhere else you like. Da -da -da -da. All right, Tito, where should we put this thing? Let me think. So, if we're not allowed to put it on the road... There's a light nearby, but this should be far enough away, I think. And Zeiss is in that direction, so the angle... Yep! This'll be perfect. PERFECT! I know it's right in front of the sign, but right here is the best spot for it. Should we set it up? We should. For the good of all humanity. Okay, I'll start setting it up. Give me just a minute. All done! Well, flip that switch as hard as you can. Flipping now. 
Rot row. And that should be all of them. Do 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 do. Yay! Now it works. Good work, sweetie. Well, it, 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 well, uh, a little bit of it, I can't talk. Well, it looks like you're certainly keeping busy. Busy, busy, busy. Everybody's busy. Huh? Huh? Dad? Hi, Cassius. Hello. Hello. Hello, Estelle, everyone. It's been a while. I know it's a little late, but good work with your training, Estelle. Hey, good work. You don't know the half of it. Well, what are you doing here anyway, Dad? <laughs> well, I am a member of the military, just in case you forgot. This is the the Mubla. This is the strategic headquarters for the Royal Army. So most of the army brass works here. Oh, okay. Ah, now I remember. You've been placed in charge of the army as a whole, correct? Yes, thanks in no small part to Morgan absolutely refusing to let go of the idea. <laughs> in the end, let's say it came down to a battle of wills and I lost. Thanks to that, I've not had a moment's rest in days. Weeks. Can't even track the passage of time anymore. That's too bad. Sorry to hear that, Cassius. Oh, you work like that because you know you enjoy it, Dad. I have to admit, though, seeing you in a uniform again felt weird as heck at first, but now that I've gotten used to it, you really look at home in it, Dad. <laughs> Naturally. You realize, of course, that you gaze upon he who was once the granddaddy of the Royal Army. Even Richard wasn't half the lady killer I was. Knew it, too. I'm sure Mom would be thrilled to hear that, Dad. <laughs> I'm still glad. I heard you were really busy, so I've been a little worried. But it looks like you're okay. I'm surviving, at least. Anyway, Jean passed along the report from the Guild. So they've begun moving already. You, you found one in ruin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we found one. A foot soldier of Ouroboros. As the report stated, their members are, to be blunt, Cassius, they're absolutely terrifying. Does the military have any contingencies in place to deal with the society? Honestly, if I could put together an agency to replace the Intelligence Division, that'd help. I've only just gotten the regular army and the border garrison welded back together and cohesive, though, and that was a challenge. For the moment, we've little choice but to rely on the resources of the Guild to investigate. I'm hoping you can look into these bizarre earthquakes we've been having while you're at it. Understood, sir. So you're relying on me for once, Dad? Don't worry. I'll shower you in in filial piety. And success, too. Huh. <laughs> First time you've ever said something like that, Estelle. You look very good, too. You really have become much more of a true bracer. Your Joshua would be impressed as well. Oh, uh, heh, 
I, uh, I guess so. General Bright. It's Sid! Oh, Major Sid. Oh? It sounds like you've met recently. As a matter of fact. Yes, sir. It was during the special drinking I mentioned. It was a huge success, thanks to them. I see. It's good you took the initiative so well in my absence. Now that you're, you're a lieutenant colonel, I'll be expecting even greater things from you, you know. Otherwise, I'll never be able to properly retire. <laughs> well, we can't have you retiring too early, sir. There, there's still work to be done. At least wait till General Morgan has retired first. Ah. <sighs> uh, and that'll be when he keels over at his desk, most likely. Anyway, Lieutenant Colonel, it sounded like you had some business with me. Yes, sir. G G General Morgan will be arriving earlier than expected. He's due at the landing port within the hour. For the love. That man has exactly zero patience, I swear. As you can see, I have a meeting with some of the brass to attend. I'm sorry we can't talk longer, Estelle. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got the chance to chat, even for a little bit. So am I. Kira, I doubt I need to ask it of you, but please continue to watch over Estelle. She's a senior bracer now, but she still lacks experience. Don't worry, Cassius. You can count on me. I see you're keeping up... Keeping up the hard work, too, Tita. I imagine she can be a dunderhead of a sister sometimes, but... Help Estelle out as best you can, okay? <laughs> I will, I promise. Oh, oh, about the analysis of the Gospel Unit said he found, um, an unexpected hint. I think he'll want to talk to you soon. I see. Sounds like we can expect some headway soon. Give my best to the professor when you see him. I will. Do, 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 do. Olivier is with you, too. Thank you for helping my daughter. I know you have your own business. Thank you for putting it aside for a moment. Heh. <laughs> your things are unnecessary, Mr. Bright. I'd not miss the next chapter in our little opera for all the world. Hmm. Well, as you wish. Just be sure not to neglect your own mission. Fear not, my friend. I haven't forgotten. What's all that? Well, if you'll pardon me. I won't have time to, to do much to help you directly. But if you find something too big for the guild, contact me anytime. I'll help you as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I'm counting on you if it happens, Dad. Good, good luck with your work. <laughs> I'll need it to keep working off my back. Let's go, Lieutenant Colonel. Sir, said style. Looks like Dad's even busier than I thought. We'll need to do our part as the guild and more. Indeed. Now then, let's find some answers to show Cassius just what we can do. Right then. That's the last instrument in place. Let's return to the Capel's room at the factory and check in with Professor Russell. Right, fifth floor of, of the factory. Factory! Not like a plan, I mean, not much else to do right now. Oh, 
second slot. What a one shot jump. It's right there. I'll, I'll tell you what. Seems you came up short. Takes care of all the shenanigans. Could have easily walked around him, but I just decided to keep going. I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. I don't give a damn. I don't care what's going on here. Good tomatoes not. Shut up, man! Do -do 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 -do. Percocy, red flies. Uh, John Ritter Roadway. Alright. Back to the factory! Get to the factory to let the factory get to you! That doesn't really work there, but oh well. What you gonna do, man? You can't win them all. Sometimes you can't win any of them. It's a fact, Jack. City block! Jones! How you doing? Professor Russell, we've connected to the first unit and are receiving telemetry now. Yes, I see. Good. The connection is perfect. I mean, nothing's perfect, sir. Come on now. And even better, it looks like things are rock solid. Secure our connections to the other two units at once. Understood, Professor. It says Travis. Travis Ingstrom. I think they know we succeeded already. It seems so. Goodness, but this entire room never fails to take my breath away. Hey, don't. Oh, hello, everyone. Hi, Mr. Murdoch. We've got the measuring device set up like the professor asked. Yes, we saw. We've got data pouring in from them already. Data! So the Capel is already running? Aye, Professor Russell's running some sort of program to sort the data now, in fact. <laughs> Excuse me! to second and third units stable. So that's all three. Now let's see. Good, good. Both of them are still at, as a pond. And we have links to all three units. Excellent. Excellente. Ah, everyone! Wasn't expecting you back this quickly. We made good time. As you can see, thanks to thanks to you, we're getting all the data we need. That's nice. Good work, you four. <laughs> well, really, all we did was carry the instrument bits. Besides, Professor, you're the one doing us a favor. You don't need to thank us. If you want to thank anyone, thank Tita. We couldn't have done this without her. It's kind of true. Well, no, no. I, I didn't do anything special. You just did all the hard work. No, no, you did very well. Even the transmitters are perfect. 
The signal we're receiving is marvelous! <laughs> well, yay! So we're all set up now, right, Grandpa? Can I do anything else to help? No, we're as prepared as we can be, I think. I've programmed the Capel to begin analysis automatically, if a disturbance is detected in the septium banks. Now we just wait for an earthquake again. Now we play the waiting game. Hate that game. It sucks. So we've pretty much hurried up to wait. Huh. I don't know if I can stay calm just waiting for an earthquake to strike Zeiss again. Heh, <laughs> indeed. An earthquake hitting the city directly is a discomforting thought. We have a plan in case that happens. You've secured and locked down the factory for an earthquake. Even so, if the next earthquake is much stronger, it'll be hard on us. Sure. At the very least, I can't imagine we'll avoid property damage. N Nebraska style. Unfortunately, the capel here is the same. Strong enough vibrations could damage it, causing errors and making our experiment fail. That wouldn't be fun. So a prayer or three to the goddess wouldn't go amiss, everyone. I thought I was nervous before. Even with cutting-edge technology, we still need the favor of the goddess. <laughs> Engineers can be really faithful, you know. I pray to the goddess a lot when I'm working really hard on something. She does have a point. I remember when Professor Russell was developing the first orbital airship. I was going to church three times a day. Woo! You could have had a little faith in something other than the goddess, Chief Murdoch. <laughs> After 39 failed experiments, could you blame me? <laughs> They've always been like this, haven't they? I think they have, yeah. Either way, it seems we have quite a bit of time on our hands. It wouldn't hurt to return to the guildhouse briefly and report in. Maybe we could start a podcast or a streaming channel or something. Yes, go on ahead. We'll contact the guild should anything happen. Caution! What? Eek! Earthquake! Seems we don't have that much time to kill after all. Oh, well. Oh. All three instruments are reporting changes. The septium veins appear to be active. Continue monitoring. Don't take your eyes off them for a second. If the signals are interrupted, report immediately. Yes, sir. Now, let's see. Data still coming in from all three instruments. Instruments of destruction, even. Given the direction the seismic waves are headed, the origin point of the Temblor, coordinates are 12.73, 378.02, Oh, don't call me a ho. Very interesting. What do you mean? We know where the earthquake's epicenter. We know where the earthquake's epicenter is. It's Laston Fortress. What? Dad? What? Are you sure? They're training, uh-oh. What the? We're under attack! By the Earth! Calm down, it's just an earthquake. Hold your line, stay in position. 
General Cassius, you... It seems I was right. Ordering a work stoppage at the port was the right idea. You know. Incredible. I didn't actually think there would be an earthquake as you predicted. Cassius, just what kind of magic did you use? What magic? It's just logic, Morgan. The logic of our foe's desires. After three rehearsals, it was simply a question of what made the most tempting target. Chief, we, we've received word from Layston Fortress. They've suffered a fairly large earthquake. We were right. What happened? Is anyone hurt? Thankfully, there don't seem to be any injuries. I think they mentioned they prepared in advance. Thank the goddess. Ha! That... That's Cassius, all right. The man has the dangerous sense of a fox. Now then, the Capel should have the results for us. Cool. Professor Russell checked the displayed analysis results. Doo -doo -doo! Even. So let's see. Oh, this is interesting. What is it, Professor? Did we learn something? I do believe we have. According to this, the flows along the Sepium veins were altered significantly prior to the earthquake. You don't say. The unusual flows gathered beneath a single location, apparently. Since it occurred quite close to the surface, it had little effect beyond the immediate area. That would mean... Oh. Hang on a second. You're saying someone's controlling septium veins in order to generate earthquakes on purpose? Basically. Literally an earthquake weapon. Sweet goddess. You have the right of it. A weapon that can cause earthquakes anywhere with septium bands. But, 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 Grandpa! Controlling septium veins? Is that even possible? Anything's possible. I don't know what you're talking about. It's well beyond the capabilities of any Earth-moving technology I'm aware of. I agree. However, we cannot deny the evidence in front of us. Someone has made it possible. That's too bad. Well, tough for them. Professor, can you use the data to figure out where the weapon is? Weapon X, even. If you can, we'll go stop it. Holy pepper. Yeah. That's the spirit. Hmm, perhaps I can. Right. Pull back the data at the start of the disturbance. Now. In what direction does the flow of disturbance begin? I have it. 165.88 by negative 228.35. Huh? Tita, do you know where that is? I think so. Tita pulled out the map. The coordinates are 
Selge from Zeiss is center, so... If East 12 sells, North 378 is, is laced in Fortress. East 165 sells, South negative 228 sells would be... So for bonus BP, you, you want to say Elmo Village. Yeah, I think it'd be about there. What? Well, it's hiding and played inside, I suppose. Elmo Village. The tunnels which houses the source of their springs hide our culprit. Indeed. I can't say for certain, but it seems likely. So what do you plan to do? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna go check it out right now. Yes, we need to hurry. It's me. Indeed. So, Tita, go with them. They will need your knowledge and technical skills in their investigation. Oh, um, okay. I'll do everything I can to help, I promise. Well, uh, this might be kind of dangerous. On the other hand, Tita will be a big help. So I sure can't say no. I agree. Tita, be careful, okay? I will. I'll contact Elmo ahead of you. I'm sure Mrs. Mao will be glad to help your investigation. Thanks, Mr. Murdoch. Hazel, get Mrs. Mao at the Elmo Inn on the line at once. Yes, sir. Mrs. Mao. I'll remain here and continue to analyze the data we're getting using the Capel. If I discover anything, I'll contact Elmo at once. Thanks, Professor. If we find anything, we'll call you right away. Excellent. Good work, everyone. Let's get to Elmo at once, then. But before you do that, you, you want to go to the guild. Do you want to go to the game? Good work. I've got the pay for all your investigations today ready. Cool. Earthquake Investigation, 2,000 Mira, 2 BP, and 6 Bonus BP. Be sure to get everything ready before you head to Elmo. Well then, do be careful. Heart Surge, 2,000 Mira, 1,000 Bonus Mira, 2 BP, and, and, and 1 Bonus BP. Eliminate the Peeping Tom, 2,500 Mira, 3 BP. Called the Tunnel Monster, 3,000 Mira, 3 BP. Track Plains Monster 2, 3,500 Mira, 4 BP. So the Army Road Monster, 4,500 Mira, 5 BP. Rank Advancement to Senior Bracer E Rank. And we get Petrify Quartz, which isn't really that great since you can just make it, but still it's free, so why not? Good work. It seems you successfully accomplished your goal, ladies. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, we still got that one, apparently. And, of course, that one. But we'll get to that. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. We'll get to those. But I think this is a good place to leave off for next time. So we're going to call it a stream here. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Over 28 hours of gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you all next time. That's it. In my opinion, that sucked. Holy crap, unbelievable. That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful to, to perform like that. Pitiful.